So I've only seen the first two episodes, so I don't have the whole the whole context. But um, for starters, let's just talk about the general idea of the TVA. Like, how how long did it take you to wrap your head around the rules and the regulations and the terminology of the Time Variance Authority? Um, it takes a minute. It does take a minute, and um, I feel like it's quite it is quite clear in the show. I think, but it's just like no us knowing what we're doing <laughs> it's like oh yeah no i need I, I need a minute to to because you have to kind of go through the whole scripts just to kind of for each moment if there's any kind of uh misunderstanding because it's kind of given to you throughout the whole thing yeah you have some incredibly fun moments with tom at least the first two episodes i assume they extend past that but uh First, let's talk about when you get to sort of be him in that second episode where, where you are being channeled by, uh, for lack of a better word, the, the other Loki. You're the fool the TVA brought in to hunt me down. Me, I presume. Please. If anyone's anyone, you're me. And, uh-huh. and you're, you are, I guess, acting up, up opposite him and being him. What was it like to try to like bring your best Loki energy? It was really fun and um, because I had to do it with him right there in front of me. And it was great because I got to ask questions. I didn't, I wasn't, you know, I got to, I got to ask him what is something that I could do right now that would just scream out that's Loki and is there anything I'm doing that's like oh that is so not Loki um so yeah it was it was really fun and a little acting challenge and a bit nerve-wracking as well obviously doing it in front of Loki (laughs) in terms of the MCU generally taking a step back like how familiar were you with the MCU before Loki and like, have you been a fan or, or have you just kind of been following along before you were asked to join the fray? Um, I was not a huge fan. I became a fan with Black Panther and I became a fervent fan. Like as in, I wanted to be a part of the MCU as soon as I heard about, as soon as I watched Black Panther, I was convinced that the MCU was something that I wanted to be a part of because I had just never seen anything, these conversations and ideas and themes being discussed in, not even just in, 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 on TV, like, or film, like in the superhero realm, we're talking about something that really is huge to the um, African diaspora. So um, I, was really moved by that. And I thought this is a company that I would love to work with for sure. In in terms of, you know, so much of what you're probably working against in Loki is green or blue screen. Um, Is it difficult? No, No. it's not. not? I was very lucky. I, I really had, I was in a lot of my environments. Like I really didn't have to do the whole blue screen thing. I really didn't. Yeah. So the production design was there to help you build your character. Oh, yeah. It was all there. Like you walked into those sets, especially the TVA. It was all there. The ceiling was, you would look up and you would see all the detail in the ceiling even. And um, yeah, it was great. It was, uh, the pr- production design on it was flawless. Is it weird filming that scene where Loki is essentially messing with time dilation on you and you're moving? Like, what is that? What is the filming process for something like that? Like, are you just filming it once and then VFX oh, takes I over? <laughs> I wish it was definitely doing it over and over and over again. So it was like a, you kind of reset, you do your movement, you have to freeze kind of in that kind of half, whatever position and then freeze, clear frame, reset, start again and just do that about 25 billion times. (laughs) Sounds fun and not tedious at all. (laughs) (laughs) To kind of open up to kind of a sillier question or like um, tangentially related to Loki, obviously time travel, a huge part and conceit of of the show. If you could time travel to any film premiere or go back in time and like watch an episode of television, like live as it was originally airing, is there, is there something that you'd want to go back and watch with fresh eyes? I would absolutely love to be, to watch the filming of Annie um, 
I that's my favorite film, Albert Finney, my daddy war books. Like I would absolutely love to watch the whole of that film. I would love to watch the rehearsals for it, for the dance and the and the dance sequences and the singing and the whole thing. The whole if I was behind the camera watching Albert Finney, <laughs> I would die.